So I've got another HD texture pack video for you tonight, and this is for the awesome N64. So N64, it came out in the mid 90s and competed against the first PlayStation, as well as the Sega Saturn. And although sales for the N64 wasn't as great as what the PlayStation achieved, uh, there's a big strong fan base. And what I'm going to do with this video is show you how to get your N64 games looking really good with these HD texture packs. I'm also going to go through video settings with you and do as I always do on the last few HD texture pack videos I've done and show you default footage of gameplay as well as adding the HD texture packs and the video enhancements. So check this one out. <laughs> Okay, so on my travels across the world wide web, I have found a really good website to get our N64 texture packs from, and this is Emulation King. There is a couple of other websites I've used uh, during my research for this video, but largely this one's actually a good website, and it's got all the famous games on there which people are liking still to date, such as Mario 64. Uh, we got some Zelda games on this website, and there's a few other popular games such as Mario Kart. I am going to say though, on this website, some of these texture packs are 100% complete, whereas some aren't complete. Some goes up to around 70 to 80% of completion. But there are some really good texture packs on here. So check this website out. And like I said, this is where I've downloaded the texture packs from for this video. So let's get into this then. I've downloaded the texture packs as we can see here. I've got zip files of these. So all I'm going to do is just extract these zip files. So just right click and I use WinRAR and extract. And I'm going to do that for all of these. And we're going to end up with a folder for each one. As you can see, these are generating. And we're going to do Super Mario 64 too. So once these have extracted, we can now delete the all first file and the zipped file. So let's just get rid of those. So where do we put these texture packs then? So if we go to Retrobat, the shortcut that is, and right click on it, open file location is always. And these are going to go into your BIOS folder in Retrobat. And they need to go into Mupen64. Mupen64 is a very good N64 emulator that Retrobat uses. And inside of Mupen64 Plus, you're going to find Hire's Texture. So if we drag these folders inside of here, and let's just check what's inside. So we've got Super Mario 64, and you've got a lot of subfolders in there. Each subfolder is going to contain textures from each part of the game. So that's all there is to it. So let's just open up Retrobat now, and I'm going to do what I always do in my last Dreamcast video. PlayStation 2 video and yesterday's GameCube texture packs video. I'm going to show default footage of the game's running as standard. So sometimes some people ask me what theme is that you're using. This one's actually PlayStation X theme and you can get this one uh, from your theme. And you can actually get this theme from your updates and downloads in themes folder and PlayStation X theme is in there. So let's go into N64 which has now appeared. And we got our games here, so we got Star Fox 64 tonight, Super Mario 64, and Ocarina of Time. So what I'm going to do is just make sure default settings on these are all to auto, and they're turned off. So just switch everything off and put everything back to auto for this. So I'm going to start tonight with Star Fox 64, an absolute classic. I actually owned this one uh, back in the day. I've got another copy of it now, but at the time it featured a rumble pack. How amazing was that? The world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have... Open the wing. Check your G-Diffuser system. Falco here. I'm fine.
This is Peppy. All systems go. Flippy here. I'm okay. Flippy, get back here! Flippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! Whoa! Help me! Thanks, Fox! I thought they had me. So as we can see there, it's just a typical looking N64 game, very blurry and very typical of that console. So let's start the enhancements. So I'm going to go to view options, advanced system options. And like I said just now, we need to make sure this is for a Mupin 64. So under emulator, just make sure that you're selecting Libretto Mutant 64 Plus next. And what I'm going to do next is just drop down to shader set. And I'm actually going to put this on, on to enhance for this. Decorations I'm going to do as I always do and go to none to get rid of those sides. And game aspect ratio 16 by 9. And integer scaling, I'm going to put this one to on. And vertical sync, I'm going to put to yes to reduce any screen tear. And internal resolution, so I'm going to bump this one up to 1440 by 1080. And visual rendering is where we can enable those custom texture packs. So under visual rendering, we're going to go straight to the bottom, custom textures. And these are actually for rice. So when you download your texture packs, you might notice somewhere saying rice. So for this reason, select rice under custom textures. And under visual rendering, we've also got other settings to mess around with here to make our games look visually much better. So by linear filtering modes, there's a couple of options there, but I'm going to leave this to auto. And textures enhancement, I'm going to put this to two times BRZ. And anti-aliasing, I'm going to just bump this one up to four times. And under widescreen, I'm going to put this one to yes. And again, under internal resolution for widescreen that I just selected, I'm going to go to full HD 1920 by 1080. So let's check out Star Fox 64 again now that I've applied these settings and this should look fantastic. Andros won't have his way with me. Open the wing. Check your G-Diffuser system. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. Flippy here. I'm okay. I see a... Here. Hey, what's the big eye? Flippy, watch out. Bogey on your tail. Whoa! Help me! Thanks, Fox. I thought they had me. So there you go. Star Fox 64 looks amazing from the textures. And the little badges on Star Fox's starship he's on, you can instantly tell that there's enhancements applied to this one, and it really looks good. We're going to check out Super Mario 64 now, and what I'm going to do is just disable all of those settings which I've just enabled. So let's boot up Super Mario 64. And if you made it through life at a certain age without seeing this game, I'd be very surprised. 
It's me, Mario! Hello! Okie dokie! to do is just apply those same settings so i'm going to go for enhanced again decorations to none game aspect ratio to 16 by 9 interscore scaling i'm going to put this one onto auto actually for this one vertical sync yes internal resolution i'm going to put this one to 1440 by 1080 if you want to try out 4K or 2K, then, you know, that'll be fine. So under visual rendering, I'm also going to turn this one into widescreen. So I'm going to go to 2560 by 1440, which is 2K in this one. Uh, widescreen, yes. And by linear filtering, I'm going to leave this one to auto. And also just remember that under visual rendering, we need to enable the texture packs there. So right at the bottom, we have got custom textures. And remember, this is rice. Anti-aliasing, I'm going to drop this one down to four times. And with things like anti-aliasing, just go very careful how much you bump these up. Because if you push it too far, you will get lines in your gameplay, as we seen just a minute ago on Star Fox 64. And for textures enhancement, I'm going to just leave this one to auto for this playthrough. And that's it. So let's open up Super Mario 64. It's me, Mario! Hello!
So there we go. So, so I'm using an almost Paper Mario aesthetic just there with texture packs for Super Mario 64. And the reason that is, is because there are so many Super Mario 64 texture packs. I just thought that would look really nice. So we're on to our next game now. And again, I'm going to just put everything back to default. And the settings I'm using on this, you know, feel free to experiment. Uh, N64 emulation isn't too demanding nowadays on PC hardware. You know, obviously, if you want to bump the internal resolution up, then it will be a little bit straining. But not as straining as something like PlayStation 3. So let's check out Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on default settings. And another one I own in my collection. I love this game. So as we can see, Legend of Zelda, all by default settings, lots of blurry textures on there as per usual for Nintendo 64. So let's just put those enhancements back on. So that's my N64 Retrobat HD Texture Pack setup. Like I said at the start of the video, I've also covered Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and last night, GameCube 2. So if you've not hit notifications and you like what you've seen today, hit notifications and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming content on Retrobat. I also cover a range of other front-end systems as well. And I'm on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.